showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, talking about a new card from Next Challengers, and we've got another hero to discuss. This card is absolutely incredible. It is probably going to be, like, a staple in the deck, absolutely. It's going to be an integral part of heroes, I know that for sure. I would say that it's not quite as good as Shadow Mist, but, I mean, few few heroes are going to be as good as Shadow Mist. Anyways, it's called Elemental Hero Blazeman. It's a level 4 Fire Warrior monster, 1,200 attack, 1,800 defense. It says you can only use uh, one Elemental Hero Blazeman effect per turn, and only once that turn. Effect number one, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Polymerization from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's cool. Effect number two, you can send one Elemental Hero Monster from your deck to the graveyard, except Elemental Hero Blazeman, so it can't dump itself. Until the end of the turn, this card's attributes, attack, and defense become the same as the sent card. If you activate this effect, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except fusion monsters. Okay, so before I dive into the card, let me just be real for a second here. When I read this guy, the first thing that popped into my head was Yu-Gi-Oh! GX aired in Japan, what, like a full decade ago, basically? It was 2004. So we're just getting a good way to consistently search polymerization now. Why? Like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, all right, we're going to release heroes, and 10 years later, we're going to give you a way to search polymerization. Like, but anyway, you know what? That's besides the point. Um, I look at this card for what it is and what it's going to do for heroes, and I think that it is freaking amazing. Again, I think that it's going to be an auto staple for the deck. I mean, basically any version that runs Shadow Miss, anyways. The first effect is okay, you know, you summon it, you can search polymerization. I mean, the thing is, nobody runs polymerization, so, I mean, it's really not going to be that important. Now, if it was a polymerization card, uh, that would just be, like, completely different, because then you could just normal summon it, and you could search super poly, and it's like, okay, fuck you, Shadows, have a fun time hitting the graveyard and missing timing. That would be, like, <laughs> ridiculously good, and in the mirror match, obviously, that goes without saying. The effect that's important to remember with Blaze Man is effect numeral dose. Once per turn, you can dump any hero into the graveyard you can copy its stats you can copy its attribute the obvious play here is very obvious dump shadow miss search a hero with shadow misses effect and then kick armageddon's non-hero ass to the curb because <laughs> basically you don't need that card in the deck anymore like armageddon knight is now well pretty much fucking obsolete in any version of heroes and I think that this is probably going to be Blaze's primary use. Like, you just summon this guy, you dump Shadow Miss, you search for any other hero that you may need. Basically, it's a plus one. It's going to be incredible. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it now. Like, Blaze Man plus Mass Change is going to be fucking bananas. Because, basically, not only do you get your Dark Miss because you, uh, you know, you get to copy and become a Dark Monster, but then it's like... Since you dump Shadow Mist in the graveyard and you get your search, you never go neg one. Like, you basically still stay even, and then you get Dark Law, which, <laughs> well, we already know my views on that card. Um, what might not be so obvious is the other good plays that this card is going to open up. Like, the fact that you can summon Blaze, and then you can get under Bottomless because it has 1,200 attack. You can dump Neo's Alias, giving the card 700 more attack for fucking free. And at the same time, you can now make something like Hero's Blast live and consistent in the deck. Oh, by the way, did I mention your fire monster? Yeah, you can now use it with fucking Honest. So <laughs> that seems pretty legit to me. <laughs> you summon a fire monster and, I mean, you attack and you're like, Honest? And your opponent's like, what? Oh, yeah, it's light now, so I can do that. Um, I could even see people going one step further and dumping, like, the 2500 attack meals, like the regular one. Just because when you look at it at its core, like, you just take it at face value... You're summoning a 1200 guy and you're attacking for fucking 2500. Like, I don't know, that just seems too good to like pass up. I mean, I'm not saying that maybe you want to do it. I'm just, it, it's something that I would experiment with. And if people did it, I would be like, okay, I understand the concept of that. So, the obvious drawback is the fact that uh, when you use its effect, you can only special summon fusion monsters during the turn. But here's the thing about that, and it's pretty easy to work around. I mean, you still have Miracle Fusion, you still have Mass Change, which is fucking searchable in the deck by Shadow Mist. So it's not like you still can't put big-ass hero monsters on board during the turn that you use this effect. Also, I'm fairly certain that you can use things like Call of the Haunted, Soul Charge, and a Hero Lives before you activate Blaze's effect. So, you know, there's... 
a second workaround uh, in that regard. So, I mean, I don't know. It seems like a drawback. It really doesn't seem like it's that hard to get around. And then, worst case scenario, if anybody out there is like, well, I can exceed using Armageddon Knight. Like, I mean, yeah, I get that, but you can't fucking turn Armageddon Knight into a fucking Dark Law without using, you know, shitty-ass mass change second. Don't nobody got time for that shit. With this card, you can still technically exceed with it. You just don't activate the effect. So, I don't know. I look at Blaze and I'm like, I mean, <laughs> I one copy is definite. Like you want, you're gonna run one copy in pretty much any hero variant because I mean, it makes fucking Armageddon Knight and Prisma like it makes them cards irrelevant. But I mean, I would just guess on like mass heroes, like new versions of heroes that we're probably gonna be using. I mean, probably like two copies, even if you're running like Neo, even if you're not running like Neo's Alias, I would still recommend running like two copies of Blaze just because. It plus mass charge is Dark Law, and like making Dark Law is just how you fucking win in the OCG. It's just like, okay, Shadow is just, just sit in the fucking corner and shut up. You know what I mean? Like, even in the TCG, it's like, oh, hat, okay, none of your artifacts, like, they can't go to the graveyard, and your hands just don't get, you know, they get fucking banished, so no effects. I, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, as always. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, you should check out my other videos. I post Yu Gi Oh! videos. Pretty much every single day of the week, if you have an extra dollar or two, I'd implore you to check out my Kickstarter. Help me get some new equipment so I can keep giving you guys great videos. New anime talk will be posted tomorrow. I 100% promise you guys. Thank you for watching as always. Subscribing makes life happy.